Hello everyone, you welcome to Jam Vibes. Ramaposa one more time is definitely been haunted again with the whole Palapala saga. Guys, the EFF are definitely taking a whole different turn. Things are going completely sour already for the ANC and the internet is left heated up wanting to really see exactly what South Africa will take as a next step. Before I give you more details about exactly what is transpiring, kindly do well to follow Jam Vibes please, like this video, drop a comment and above all, share this video with all of your friends and loved ones. The spectre of President Romaposa's content towards Palapala farm in Broglio looms ominously, poised to resurface and cast a shadow over his tenure once more. With the African National Congress, ANC, Falling short of securing an outright majority in the 2024 general election, several parties have hinted at resurrecting the Palapala saga within the hallowed halls of parliament. The Electoral Commission of South Africa, popularly abbreviated as the IEC, formally announced the conclusive national and provincial election results on Sunday, paving the way for the imminent constitution of the 7th parliament within the ensuing fortnight. Ramaphosa should he assume office anew following the inaugural session of the National Assembly faces the looming specter of a Section 89 inquiry for potential removal from office. The Economic Freedom Fighters, popularly abbreviated as the EFF, have embarked on a legal crusade contesting the National Assembly's reluctance to embrace a Section 89 panel report, which implicates Ramaphosa in the purported mismanagement of funds at his Palapala game farm in Limpompo. Despite the damning findings of the report, the National Assembly rebuffed attempts to subject it to further scrutiny, prompting the EFF to seek recourse through the Constitutional Court, the Concord, Chief Justice Raymond Zondo has issued directives to the EFF urging the expeditious submission of arguments by mid-July with respondents including Ramaphosa and former National Assembly Speaker Nosiviwe Mapisa Takula, granted a subsequent widow for rebuttal. The EFF's legal challenge contends that the ANC manipulated its parliamentary majority to bury the incriminating Palapala report, urging the Concord to invalidate the National Assembly's decision. In a par parallel legal skirmish, the African Transformation Movement, popularly abbreviated as the ATM, is contesting the findings of the Public Protector's report in Palapala, questioning its exoneration of Ramaphosa. ATM leader Vuyo Zungula has petitioned the Pretoria High Court to scrutinize the report's conclusions. Despite various investigations, including the South African Reserve Bank, that is the SARB prop, absolving the president to culpability, the Freedom Front Plus, that is the FF Plus, remains resolute in its pledge to reignite the Palapala discourse in the National Assembly. FF Plus, Chief Whip. Karne Muldula has hinted at the prospect of a parliamentary resurgence of the issue, suggesting that a fresh appraisal of the report could yield divergent outcomes. The saga surrounding Palapala thus persists as a pivotal point of contention, emblematic of the intricate interplay between political mechan mechanization and legal maneuvers within the South African landscape. Right now, without necessarily judging, I want each and every one of you to rush onto the comment section and give me your honest opinions. Guys, I'm going to be reading you all keenly. Let's have a conversation respectfully in the comment section. I love you all so dearly and do all to take appropriate care of yourselves. Do not as well leave here without sharing this video to all of your friends, loved ones, family members. Most importantly, all the groups you find yourselves in, right? Okay, guys, see you on our next upload.